Technology can bring financial services closer to women. Mobile phones and banking agents can reduce the risk, the cost, and the distance of financial transactions for women. Women face a number of barriers in their access to financial services. They often have limited mobility and an inability to leave the home. In Malawi, women are mostly breadwinners. They have got a lot of responsibilities. They have to do some businesses, do household work at the same time. So we looked at that and say they do not really have much time to go out to where our service centers are, which is normally quite a distance. So in order to save them money, and the time we developed this product which is uh, being distributed to the customers through what we call agents and these agents are located within the vicinity of where these people live such that they have to walk a very small distance to get to the agent and do banking transactions Technology is allowing financial service providers to bring their services directly to the woman. We're seeing great success with digital tools in terms of in-field account opening, doorstep service collection, and we're now starting to see partnerships where existing informal savings groups are partnering with banks to bring more women into the formal financial system. Digital financial services represent a huge opportunity to close the gender gap in financial inclusion. This better system for us to have saved us from losing our money from, you know, people that we don't know, but this one, you get it right into your phone. Wow, interesting. <laughs> it is clearly cheaper, it's clearly more flexible, and digital helps you track. So it gives you a history sort of like a footprint of the customer, and it helps you refine your products, you know, better than physical will ever do. We've seen a real shift at Women's World Banking in that today, almost all of the projects that we're engaged in have some digital component. Because we really believe that digital financial services can be the key to closing the gender gap in financial inclusion.